Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie, and I want to welcome you back to another Windcraft video. So today we're going to be checking out some Easter eggs, but I never really looked around the lobby, uh, and when I did, I found a ton of Easter eggs. So this is what it's going to be today. It's just kind of a uh, all-around every Easter egg that I found. Uh, there's probably a ton that I didn't find because I didn't check out the parkour. Um... But these are just the ones that I found, and there's quite a bit. By the way, I'm going to add some background music into this video. I haven't done that in quite a while, uh, and I'm a personally a pretty big fan of background music in videos. So I'm going to throw that in, and uh, let's go ahead and start checking out some Easter eggs. So the first one I found is right here in this house. If you run back here, you'll find this little sign. It says Windcraft. Um, it's just kind of like a little hidden sign. It's pretty cool. Nothing too much about it, though. So the second Easter egg is just upstairs from here. It's in this little roof with all this hay. If you go back into the corner, hidden, you'll find an item frame with an egg, and it's named Easter Egg. So this might be the only Easter Egg Easter Egg in Windcraft that I've found. Um, so it might be the only one. Let's go ahead and hop on over to the other one. So this one I wasn't too sure about if I wanted to put it in here or not. I wasn't sure if it was considered an Easter egg or not, but I decided to add it in because no matter what, it's still a cool little thing. Uh, so this is over by the archers kind of area, um, and you run up this little path up this hill, and you'll find this little archery range with an emerald block with a button on it. If you push the button, it's going to give you a bow and 30 arrows I think and then you can actually shoot the targets and it'll say bullseye if you've hit them or not so go ahead and knock out all three of them targets it doesn't do anything but you will get the satisfaction knowing that if those three targets were enemies they would be dead let's go ahead and move on to the next one So this one is, like I said, another one that I'm not sure if it's really an Easter egg or not, um, but it is kind of cool and I wanted to leave it in here. So this is over in the King's area. Coming up these stairs and going off to the side here, uh, you see these planters and one of them is actually collapsed in and there's a little tunnel down there or whatever, cave or drop in or whatever. You can drop into there. That is the one of the ways to get into where I'm going to show you after. But if you don't want to do that, you can run all the way around to the back and you'll find that little house out there with a bed in there. If you uh, open up the little trap door and go down the ladder, you're going to find this little tunnel that I come across. And if you follow that all the way to the end, you'll actually see a little cave opening or something like that. Um, but you can't get into it from here. So I'll show you actually how you can get into it if you want to do it this way, or you could have just dropped in that planner. So coming up into this little shipyard, you can just jump down here. You'll find a actual cave opening, and it leads directly into the cave. I think this might be some kind of underground market or something like that, because, or it could have been the King's Keep or something. Uh, you'll find, like these little market stalls that are selling like golden armor and uh, all kinds of like rare blocks from the nether and stuff like that uh, it's also selling some music and even mob heads he mob heads uh, if you go down one of these extra branches it'll take you to the little drop-in that we've seen from up above and over in the corner you can actually see the cave that we took a look at earlier so let's go ahead and head out of here and head out to what I believe is the last Easter egg that I found, it's going to be Salted's Booty. That's right. Uh, and not in a gross way. Booty as in riches. So let's go take a look at that. Alright, so over here in what I believe is the Assassin's Guild house, I guess, uh, if you run up these stairs and uh, run up into here, you're going to find these three paintings on a wall. You're going to go into the one on the right, and you'll actually find Salted's Booty, and there's tons of emeralds in there. And then there says something in the corner. Um, 
I can't remember whose name it was, but it says it's their corner and they got a couple of emeralds in there. So, yeah, that's actually all of the Easter eggs that I found. Uh, let me know, guys, if there are more Easter eggs in here that I didn't find. Like I said, I didn't check out the parkour because, as you guys know, I suck at parkour. There would have been no chance of me getting up there. Um, so I didn't even try it, but there could have been some hidden Easter eggs in there, too. I know it heads over the... Uh, over the mage guild and then keeps on going around there to some floating towers and stuff like that so if you know of any extra ones in the lobby let me know i'd like to check them out but yeah that's gonna do it though for now i have been hippie i'll see you guys next time